Well, happy Friday to everybody. And uh, in the previous tutorial, what we did was we went and got a user's input and returned back their name. Okay, that's cool and everything. We're able to get a user's input and print back something. But, you know, that's still not good enough for me. So let's go ahead and create a new project. And what we want to be able to do, the problem that we want to solve here is we want to be able to print a message that's kind of dynamic. So like when we ask the user for his name, we want to say back a message like, hello, John, or something like that, instead of just printing back their name, John. Because, you know, if you ask me for my name and you put back Tom, I'm going to be like, well, that was a pretty stupid program. So let's go ahead and give him a welcome message. Let's say hello, you know. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> so again, create a new file, command new. Well, you got to be on it for that to work, command new. All right, and we're going to save it. Command S. And we're going to save it here. And I'm going to save it to my program folder. And we're going to call it tutorial number three.py. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing, kind of. But, you know, like I said, we want to return a message to the user. So we're going to say return a message. To the user from their input all right so there's a lot of things you can do with a program like this like uh, basically something like this if a user put in some numbers you could return back an addition problem or division or whatever treat it kind of like a calculator we haven't got that far yet we will build a calculator but for now what we want to do is take the user's input which we know how to do so let's go ahead and do that so we'll say uh, user as our variable and do input and we'll ask them for their name again what is your name all right so what we're doing is getting the user's input and what is your name all right so sweet we can do that and what happens when the user puts their name in it's stored in the variable user okay now we want to return a message to the to the user so how do we do that well let's go ahead and create a message we'll call it message and we'll, and the variable is going to be message, I should say. And we want to create a message in here. So what we're going to do is, <clears throat> let's see here, say hello to the user. All right. I'll say hello blank. How are you today? Question mark. All right. So we blank, we want to put their name in here. So what we're going to use is the format uh, method in Python for we do this with strings. So what we do is use a curly brace like that, all right, in the string. And then out here we do period format and then parentheses. And then we put in the variable from up here because the user is going to return to us their name. So we'll put user, all right. And now we need a way for us to return the message to the user on the terminal so we're gonna have to print the me message back so we'll do print and then in here we'll put message alright so let's go ahead and give this a try and see if it worked alright first off I need to be in my uh, programs folder so that's on my desktop so I'll do CD desktop backslash uh, programs hit return and then ls list it out and I'm going to write one so I'll do python3 tutorial3.py and it's going to run the program what's your name my name's Tom and it says hello Tom how are you today alright well I think we messed up uh, punctuation there so let's go back and fix that real quick so I don't like uh, leaving that out there so we'll just put a little exclamation point in there and now we have hello Tom how how are you today? So we'll just go ahead and run that program again. So to run that prog program again, we're going to press the up button and Python 3 tutorial 3.py, hit return. Ooh. Let's try that again. There we go. And we're going to do Tom. And hello, Tom. How are you today? So basically, we just wrote a program that takes a user's input, modifies a string, and then prints a message back to the user pretty simple and if I wasn't babbling so much we could have done that in less than a minute but now you know how to take the user's input modify 
a string and then return a message to the user. That's pretty cool, right? So in the next tutorial, we're gonna build off this some more and uh, see where we can get from there. You know, we're we're building towards something special. All right, so I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.